afternoon, folks. Let me ask y'all a question. I want you to give some serious thought. It's a hypothetical. You may find it in the near future. It's so hypothetical. Uh, let's say you get off work on Friday and you go into the office to get your check. You're going to go stop, get your cold beer, go on to the house. Going off, say nobody there. Hence, no paycheck. Do you manage to get one of these office people on the phone and they said, Yep, says, we're shut down for good. You have no job, you have no paycheck. Sorry. you do? Did you make it to next week? Oh, it wouldn't really matter if you made it next week because there ain't going to be no paycheck next week either. Are you completely dead in the water or you, you got some hope of survival? Because if the answer is you can't make it till next week, brother, you got problems. But you better be attending to because the way this economy is going and this world's going right now, it's not going to be real forgiving to those kind of problems. People got so used to they getting financial trouble and there'll be a church or a charity or or the government or somebody standing there to hand them some food stamps or give them some food or pay their electric bill or whatever. When this economy gets like I'm describing, that's all going away. You ain't gonna have none of those backstops. <clears throat> you're gonna get in trouble and you're gonna be in trouble. Hopefully you can get in a community of people to help you soften those blows. Like I said, if your answer to that question is no, I couldn't make it, I would highly suggest you looking at making some changes. You know, it, it can be some real basic things. I got a spare bedroom at the house. Back in the corner of that bedroom, I got one of them little four tier Rubbermaid shells, about as tall as I am. Maybe four foot wide, four by two, tall as I am. And I've got it reasonably full of, uh, I've got some canned goods on it. I've got. I've got 25 pound of pinto beans. Probably got about that much rice. No, no, you know, I ain't talking about, you know, going out and backing 53 foot trailers into the yard, filling the garage to the ceiling with, with rice and beans, and MREs, bullets, and everything else. <clears throat> Just say, I want to think about just maybe taking a couple little steps. Uh, a lot of people don't know it, but a pinto bean is a is a superfood. Pinto beans supply you with just about all the minerals and vitamins you need to healthily survive. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure you get sick of eating them every day, but I'll bet you, you don't get near as sick of eating them as you would get sick of being hungry. But just simple thing, maybe maybe a first aid kit. Uh, on mine, I've got I've got some extra toilet paper. You know, go boxes of toilet paper. I got. Uh, 
think what else is on that shelf. I use cream and mushroom soup to cook a lot of things that I cook. I got a couple cases of that. Uh, got some shampoo, got some soap, some deodorant, uh, laundry detergent, dish detergent, soap, toothpaste, mouthwash, hydrogen peroxide alcohol both kinds uh, and what I do with it is I, I you know when I need a tube of toothpaste I go in there and I've got a little clipboard hangs beside it I grab me a tube of toothpaste and then next time I'm in the store I'll buy another bag again you know, so if I run out of toothpaste or toilet paper or ditch detergent, I ain't got to run right to the store right then. I've got it. Uh, but just simple, like just, just one corner of one room. But really, I probably got enough food there for me. If it's just me, hell, 25 pounds of pinto beans would feed me for a, a month easy. Without everything else, I got ramen noodles, just all kinds of stuff. You know, your basic first aid stuff. Uh, next thing I did is, I did this a couple years ago. I kind of seen his head down this road. I went and got a, I got a savings account at a, at a credit union, completely separate from my bank. Because if I do a, I'm, I'm not a very disciplined person, and if I was to put a savings account in the same bank as my checking account, the savings account would just become an extension of my checking account. And then I just set it up on PayPal. Uh, well, no, on PayPal, I use the, the service at the bank. <clears throat> where it moves $25 a week every Friday from my checking account over to my savings account in the other bank. And doing that, I've built up a decent little nest egg. I mean, not, I ain't fixing to retire and run off the team, but uh, If something was to happen while I couldn't work, I could pay my bills for a few weeks. Uh, plus, it's nice having cash like that on the side. Once you get it saved up, you know. Because I can tell you, when this economy turns south, there's going to be deals to be had. The people that didn't prepare gonna have to unload some of these toys they got. These sea doos and RVs and boats. And eighth car and motorcycles. All that good stuff. Razors. Oh. Um, it'd be nice to have that cash sitting there. And you snatch up some deals. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. And, uh, because there ain't no qualms about it. You can believe what you want to believe. This this economy's heading south. And it's heading south in a bad way. It's it's a very very bad way. Uh, they just came out with the GDP numbers today, and we're, they're negative. They swore up and down that they probably weren't going to go negative, but if they did, it'd be next year before they did. Not that's here now. Uh, we got our government lying to us on a daily basis about stats, statistics. Their own legalities. 
and now since they don't want us questioning about it, they're coming up with a <laughs> and I you you're gonna think I'm making this up, but Google it. I am not. They are coming up with a department of misinformation. So they can come and spank your wee wee with a wet noodle if you lie on the internet. Or you ain't gotta lie. You just have to say something that they construe as misinformation. Which pretty much works up to anything they don't agree with. I think this, this little uh, party they're starting will survive any kind of legal examination. But just the fact that they're doing it got people out there now arguing in the public square that they need to do censorship to maintain our democracy. They need to censor certain things so we can remain a democracy. I'm sorry, but if uh, one point of view is being censored out, News flash for you folks. We ain't a democracy no more. They call that authoritarian or totalitarian or fascist or something, but it ain't democracy. Uh, bizarre world, people. Up is down and left is right. Right is left. Down is up. Fast is slow. I think we're going to come out of it in a better place. It's going to be painful. Because we're going to have to flush this crap out of our system. Uh, it's just that simple. It's the way it is. Uh, and get rid of stuff like this generally hurts. But it's so embedded in your system. And allowed to fester so far. Just like all the financial stuff we're going through right now. If back 2007, 2008, when we went through that housing crisis and that bank crisis, if things back then would have been allowed to take their natural course, uh, things would be allowed to take their basic course, then we wouldn't be in the shape we're in today. But they kicked the can down the road, and they kept kicking the can down the road, and they've been kicking the can down the road since about 91, 92. Uh, it's allowed some rich people to get very rich. about then that we went into the crony capitalism phase and we're going to shake out that crony capitalism phase but like I say it's going to hurt well I'm telling you that's the reason I asked you that question to start this video is start doing things to prepare yourself like I say yeah I ain't saying you need to become a prepper you don't need to go out and buy your Humvee and have 800 jerry cans full of of uh, fuel on it. You don't need 10,000 gallon water tank in your backyard. Eighteen acre victory garden. All them things are great. You don't need them. Just take some basic precautions to protect yourself. 
in all forms and fashion. Protect your well-being, physically protect yourself, protect your finances, protect your home. Things are going to get better. Thing is, right now we're we're in, we're still sliding downhill. It's going to be a while before we hit bottom. So, hold on to your britches, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. y'all have a fine day. I'll catch you on the flip side.